Starting a YouTube channel is already difficult enough, but now imagine you're six months in and you're watching those numbers just kind of trickle in, you're not getting a whole lot of views mm -hmm. and you start questioning yourself. Like, what is it? Is it me? Am I boring? Am I ugly? Like, what's happening? And you might ask yourself all those questions. You might ask yourself, what, how, how did I, I get here? You might ask yourself, how did I get here? This is not my beautiful house. This is not my beautiful wife. What's happening? <laughs> <laughs> I don't get this reference. Anyway, we're going to do this really beautiful discussion type video talking about whether or not you should just quit now, give up on your tiny channel and, uh, you know, the answer Stop might sucking. surprise you. It's a talking heads video. As the days go by, anyway, so in this video, we're going to just kind of help you answer the question, should I give up on my small YouTube channel? We're going to talk about some of the things we faced ourselves growing our channel. That was a very good transition out of what just happened. <laughs> I don't know how we're going to get through this video, honestly, but it's going to be a discussion and it's going to be amazing. So stick around. Roll the tape. So you started your YouTube channel a while ago. You're dedicated, you're persistent, you're posting your videos and your views are still low. What's the point of going on? That's what we're going to talk about in this video. So you have to remember that every channel started somewhere. And a lot of these people you're looking at, they're like, oh, they have millions of views or they have millions of subscribers. And you're like, why am I not there? They started exactly where you are. And most people don't, you know, put out one video and go viral. And then everything they put out is magic. They're testing, they're trying, they're putting out consistent content. And then taking that same time to build that library up, get YouTube interested, get there audience interested you just have to work really hard if you're gonna make videos one thing that drives me crazy is you'll see a lot of videos where people say like you know get a hundred thousand subscribers in 24 hours or something like that and then their main point is just be consistent and continually put out good content have good content so you might be sitting here thinking like oh your number one point is be consistent and keep going like okay like that's not that great of advice but that's that's it that's 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 the thing that's yeah. the thing and the funny trick the secret behind that point is it's just as good as it is bad advice because but the, what it really is saying is keep going and learning along the way learning, yeah. because without that um, you'll still find more success but not as much as you would want without the learning part. So remember to keep trying new things because you're not going to get it at the beginning. You're, you might do all right, but you're going to have to just develop. So we have another video. We'll link to it wherever we link to it. <laughs> There's another video that discusses uh, the meltdown that can sometimes happen three months in, six months in, a year in, and you're not seeing the growth that you were looking for. Have you had your meltdown yet? I hate this. <laughs> the meltdown will come from that feeling of, of, I'm not being heard, I'm not being seen. My message isn't actually getting out there. Obviously consistency, like that's the name of the game. That's the word of this video. We had one client who just with grit said i am going to commit to 260 videos like that's that's what i'm going to commit to i'm going to stick to that i'm going to plan the content out and i'm just going to grind through it and i'm going to see what happens 260 videos later this person was like you know what i think i've got 260 more things to say so they they committed to another 260. it's this is something i've been thinking about a lot lately it's grit like most businesses fail within the first five years, something like that. Don't quote me on that statistic, but I know most businesses that start do not survive. And YouTube is a business. Content creation is a yeah. business. It's a brand and it's a part of it. Maybe it's not like your number one thing. Maybe you're not trying to be like a full-time YouTuber, but YouTube can become a really great source of income for you. Like it has for us. Uh, we're not making big buku bucks on our YouTube channel just yet, as of the date of this posting. Uh, maybe by the time you watch this, we will be making bigger money, but we are finding clients through our YouTube channel. Yeah. Uh, it can be a great source of revenue. Which makes us money from our YouTube channel. Yeah, we're making money. Which is money. so cool. Yeah, <laughs> it's, so 
it's just this persistence. It's this grit. When you think you're done, when you think you're tired, when you think you're exhausted, come back to your why. Come back to the reason that you want to make content. Come back to the reason that you wanted to start this in the first place. And just kind of, I don't know, push through it. Like, mm-hmm. don't give up on yourself because you're yeah. worth the effort that it is required to push through this hump. One other thing to note about the client she was talking about that was like, I'm gonna do 260 videos, I'm gonna go for it. On his very first video, he got a client that paid for his entire year of production. So although he was growing rather slowly, like by the time he finished the 260th video, he didn't have maybe as many subscribers as he was hoping for. He was fairly close, but he wasn't quite there yet. He was making money all year long, so it wasn't a total loss. Again, we have a ton of videos that go into other ways you can make money on YouTube as opposed to as opposed to just ad revenue. It's not just about getting subscribers. It's not about just getting monetized. That's just one very small part of the entire equation. Like we constantly reference on this channel, your video is your marketing. And you can, as a bonus, monetize your marketing with YouTube. But that's a bonus. Often this is a great way to just market your products and then turn the marketing into a product. If you wanna watch the video about the meltdown, that's gonna help you uh, move through some of these moments that you're working through. But if you're looking for additional help, talk to a producer. Someone from our team can help you work through this hump of how come my channel's not growing? Uh, We can maybe help you look at your analytics and see if you're not actually hitting your target audience. Uh, Ultimately, we want you to keep going and we want you to keep growing and building. So come talk to a video ally. We are your allies for a reason. Or you could talk to a video Ally. Or a video Alicia. Alicia. Uh, We have Allies and Alicias on our team. Uh, Or a video Steb. All (laughs) sorts of video producers that you can talk to here are available and we do that. We, We help consulting. We have all sorts of different packages, not to get too salesy, but we do have different packages of either just consulting or filming for you or whatever else you need. Again, that first call is just give us a call and let's see what you need help with. We're your video allies. You've got this and we can't wait to see what you create. We could prepare, we could prep pineapple, we could prep peach, and today we prep peached. <laughs> it was so, it was a I want to know what, cat, like, what it feels like to be inside your brain. <laughs> I'm kind of afraid. Gooey. <laughs> <laughs>